Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Good to see you. Good morning. Hello there. Good to see you again. Good morning, Mr. President. How are you too? Well, have you met Dr. Ben? Dr. Ben, Dr. Ben. Dr. Ben. Hello again. Dr. Ben. Dr. Ben. Well, I'm not there. Secondary coach for the Bronx. Uh, say, I thought that early in that game, I thought when that they showed from the rear that alley opening up to the end of the quarter, I could go through with the touchdown. I thought, hey, this is going to be That's different right. than people expected. It didn't hold up. Mr. President, we want to thank you for making it. that I'll deliver later this evening. Before I do that, I thought I might just take a 
a few minutes to review things as I see them, and as we all begin this historic 100th Congress. The, my State of the Union will touch on this and other matters tonight, and I think it's important that everyone understand that my priorities this next session of the Congress and the fiscal year beginning in October are clearly spelled out in the budget documents that you received earlier this month. Additional budget documents will be sent to the Hill tomorrow. The budget, my budget meets the Graham Rudman Hollings deficit reduction goals from 1988. It was submitted in accordance with the timetable specified in that same statute. I'm sensitive to the time constraints that the Congress has to work within, and that's why I asked Jim Miller to get the budget up there the first thing this year. I'm hopeful that the Congress will be equally mindful of the budget timetable as it applies to them. That is, that the Congress completes action on a budget resolution conference report by April 15. It seems to me that there's to be any chance of avoiding that fiasco that befell us last fall with the spending bills for the entire government rolled into one gigantic continuing resolution, then the Congress is going to have to come up with its budget in a timely fashion. Now then, in tonight's State of the Union address, I hope to set the time for this historic 100th Congress, a tone of cooperation that will allow us to complete the unfinished task we began six years ago, and a tone of determination to embark on new missions that will keep our nation prosperous and the world safe for freedom well into the 21st century. Much has been accomplished. Interest rates have been slashed. Employment has skyrocketed. Inflation has nearly disappeared, but above all, America is at peace. But much remains to be done. We must make certain that our workers and students receive the training and education necessary to compete into the next century. We must promote the development of science and technology so that our industry is second to none. We must remove unnecessary regulatory bar barriers that inhibit entrepreneurship, and we must renew our commitment to reduce the budget deficit. On the international front, much also remains to be done. We must continue our fight to make the world safe for freedom. And this means supporting freedom fighters who battle against tyranny. And that means checking communist aggression wherever it may occur, but especially in our own hemisphere. And this means ensuring adequate funding for our military and striving to negotiate a reduction in nuclear arsenal. The address will touch on all of these issues and more, but I don't want to tell you everything down to the last detail, for I'm afraid if I did that, only you wouldn't show up, you all get stuck in the smoke. <laughs> so then, let me open up the discussion to the floor by asking you to give me your views on the State of the Union, since you've been back in your states and districts more recently than I have, and you know first what hand what the people are thinking. So, can't call them down the door here. Well, all right, Mr. President. Well, I've uh, circulated around a lot of home, and I. You want to wait till they get settled? Good morning, Bob. How are you? All right. See you. See, you were in good voice last night during the Star Spangled Banner. Several people went to the Oh, Hold that right. Well, yeah, you always have to give us the best shot you can. Know. Oh, at a time. What's the time, Larry? What's the time?
First, ask Jim Baker to give you an overview of our program to enhance competitiveness, and then focus in sharply on the training of the lab. And then, second, I would like to ask Bill Brock to follow up with an explanation of the work of training and assistance provisions of our program. Jim, thank you, Mr. President. Gentlemen. change right beginning here. Thank you, sir. Darren, you bet. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. 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 Okay